Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon out of the theaters or digital world, whatever you want to call it, Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday. This sounds like a Hitman's Bodyguard type of title, but it's not. Accident Man. Are you going to die by accident? Let's find out. Why does my forehead look big? Anyway, Accident Man, Hitman Holiday. What's it about? It's very simple premise, actually. Scott Atkins is done with the agency in London because he has killed all of his members. And now he's in this different European island. And he's doing the same thing that he was doing in London by himself, still getting money. However, something happened. He got framed. And now he needs to be a bodyguard to a selfish, annoying brat. And now other hitmen are trying to kill this brat. And now he... He's got to make sure he stays alive while some people from the first movie come back for revenge or his friendships going to rekindle. So did I like this film? I thought it was a lot better than the first one. I mean, the story was better. The action was better. The cinematography was better. The kills were better. And just the humor was so much better. It felt like this movie knew what the first one wanted to be. So with that, I'll give the positives of the movie first. We'll continue on. The action. I felt like this action was just filmed a lot better. And when I looked at the directors, they're called the Kirby Brothers. And they've done a lot more stunts like Doctor Strange and stuff like that. So I feel like this one, they knew a little bit more than the first director of what they were doing. Could the first director have been a, a stuntman too? Could have been. I don't know. And if he was, I apologize. The Kirby Brothers have done a little bit better with the directing and how the action should play. The humor. There is an Asian lady who helps Scott Atkins' character, and her comedic timing is really, really good. Is it simple humor? Absolutely. But my goodness, it works 110%, even though there's no such thing as 110%. And the writing, even though they've seen this story a million times before, you know, of protecting someone as a bodyguard, it still worked because of the dynamic of the brat and Scott Atkins' character and all the hitmen coming back and trying to kill him so that dynamic does work and also the cinematography as well as the location scouting works a lot better it felt more tropical it did you know some scenes did feel a little bit you know set ish you know on a sound stage but there was also ones where you could kind of tell they're on a roof in europe doing action set pieces in the outside and i enjoyed that a lot however i'll say one big negative is some of the people that he's fighting, you know Scott Atkins would lose. I know for a fact Scott Atkins is a fantastic fighter. He would kick my motherfucking ass. However, the last battle with a Vietnamese person, I feel like he's a lot faster. He's better at sword play. He's just better flexibility and faster than Scott Atkins. So some of these people that Scott Atkins are fighting, you're like, yeah, I don't know if I believe that Scott Atkins could actually kick that person's ass and I know that's a weird complaint but sometimes you need to have people on a different playing field it's like almost having Mike Tyson and Steven Seagal when you have a movie where Mike Tyson loses to Steven Seagal that's a zero percent movie because there's no freaking way I'm not saying Scott Atkins would lose this Vietnamese person but you can kind of tell like yeah that Vietnamese person is like on a different level than Scott Atkins also there are some other great performances with the clown uh, the first woman and this guy from Africa. There are some great stunts and great stunt men and women in this one as well. You can say also the brat could be very annoying sometimes, but that's the whole point of the story. And is some of the humor very childish? Some poop humor? Absolutely. But my goodness, I could go with some poop humor any day of the week. So overall, Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday is surprisingly so much better than the first one. I mean, it is a huge step up. The humor's better. The action's better. The directing's better. The location scouting is better. The kills are better. And the story itself works a lot better for this style of action Hitman movie. So, Accident Man Hitman's Holiday will receive a 4 out of 5 of so which equals at 80%. Let's see the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics, a 90% with 10 of them. Audience score, an 84% with fewer than 50. No critic consensus. So the audience 
and critics enjoy this one a lot better. We have a 3 out of 5, a 4 out of 5, a 4 out of 10. Oh, where did that come from? A 90, 60, you know, just normal movie stuff. But you know what? In my opinion, before that yawn, it is a better movie. So we have the 80, the 90, and the 84. Chase out with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Blue Tontopia. You Blue Tonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And thank God, no environmentalist dialogue. There was one dialogue where a girl said toxic max mask. So much spit in my mouth. Toxic masculinity. Can anyone actually define that? Seriously. Seriously. Seriously.